Hello, my name is Daniel Black, and I'm a conductor and composer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is the first of a series of videos that I am going to call Notes from the Podium, in which I'll take a few minutes to discuss the backstory behind a piece of music. Um, since I'm a conductor, I'm going to focus primarily on music for orchestra. Um, and for this first go-round, I thought it would be interesting to put on my other hat, that of the composer, and to discuss my latest orchestral composition, which is called Ghost Light. <laughs> This was just recently premiered as of uh, the recording of this video a few weeks ago in October of 2022. Um, I composed it between 2020 and 2021. Um, and the piece is really at its core, this is about trauma. And uh, the music um, takes us from a, an absolute catastrophe and kind of follows the stages of grief almost as we go through and we hit this moment of repose and healing towards the end. Um, I was inspired to write this. Um, the first an initial thought came in the early days of the pandemic when things were shutting down and especially for musicians, it was a really, really tough time and theaters were closing, concerts were being canceled left and right. and. Um, and uh, in this time of uncertainty, I had this thought, this, this imagination of what would it be like if I could somehow hear what was going on in every concert hall around the world and as all the music was, was going silent and then suddenly there was just this profound and terrifying silence afterwards. Um, what would that sound like in a piece of music? Um, so that thought was kind of percolating in my mind. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, I was working on a few other projects, so it, it took me a while to sort of um, fully process these ideas. And um, it also occurred to me at this time that, that trauma, no matter what might instigate it, is experienced on an emotional level very similarly by all of us. Um, and this was in a moment, this pandemic, uh, of collective trauma. We'd all experience this mass trauma together um, and what that feels like and, and how that compares to all the other instigators of trauma and feelings of trauma we have in, in other uh, realms of our life. So <clears throat> the music begins with straight out of the gate with just this massive, terrifying chord, this terrifying melody, um, and, and it takes us through that um, again, like I said, progressions of the stages of acceptance, you know, we hear this, this music that's, that's very grief, um, that's, that's like depression, that's inward looking, um, and moments that where it's a little bit more hopeful, but, but it always sort of keeps coming back to this dark place. Um, in the middle portion, this is the part that was inspired by the concert halls. And for this, I had to do a lot of research. I, was, I really wanted to find melodies that came from as many different musical traditions as I could find. So there's music from all over the world, just almost anything you could possibly imagine. Uh, I, I listened to it and transcribed it and, and uh, included what I thought worked um, with this piece, including there's even a part for the uh, radio in which you know radio is amplified, just tuned to a station. So whatever happens to be on the radio, um, uh, plays just a little bit. You can hear that in the background and it adds a little bit to the tension. So throughout this section, these melodies add one by one, just like the different concert halls around the world. And you can hear that um, building in tension, building and building and building. And finally, we get to this cataclysmic moment where just everything falls apart and all of these melodies disappear one by one until there's nothing left except for just one quotation. And that is... Uh, the adagietto from the Beethoven, or sorry, excuse me, the, the arietta from Beethoven's Piano Sonata Opus 111, this incredible slow music. And I thought that Beethoven was the perfect uh, representation of this moment because here was Beethoven 
at the end of his life, he was completely deaf. He was very, very isolated from the rest of humanity. He had a very hard time uh, even like communicating basically uh, basic things to his, to his colleagues and friends. Um, and in some ways, this mirrors what we experienced during the pandemic, this feeling of isolation, this loneliness. Um, but this music is comforting, and, it, and it's a moment of comfort. It's a moment of healing. And after this, the, the Beethoven sonata is combined with what we've heard before, this, this terrifying music that's been transformed, that's been healed. Um, and that takes us to the very end of the piece, where finally we have the musical representation of a ghost light. Now, what is a ghost light, you might ask? Um, and a ghost light is actually a tradition of the theater in which there's this simple lamp on a wheels that's put out in the middle of the stage at the end of the day when everyone has gone home and there's nothing but a dark theater and we just have this one light bulb that shines a light and it's a sense of a placeholder that keeps the place on stage until the music can return and this was the perfect metaphor for hope and so um, you hear this melody that represents the ghost light at the very end, the melody of hope. Um, and it's been hinted at throughout the composition, but here it finally comes in a clear form. Now in the score, I asked for, in the performance, I asked for an actual ghost light to be placed onto the stage. And at this point in the, in the performance, all of the lights in the theater go dark until there's just this one light. So it really is, I think, um, hopefully a very effective and moving uh, accentuation of the music. Um, so this performance uh, was done by the University of South Florida and I have uh, created a video of that performance and you can find a link to that in the description of this video. Um, I hope that you will check that out and I hope that we will enjoy this music. Also um, please uh, subscribe to the channels and like this video, um, you know, all those things, do all the things, um, the YouTube things. And thank you so much um, for listening to me talk about this music and I hope that you enjoy Ghost Light.